everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be an Usborne haul. You guys, I am surrounded by Usborne goodness right now in the floor in front of me, so I'm just going to dive in. So, in no particular order, this is what we got. The first two books we got are the two books from Catherine Woodfine. You guys, these are amazing. If you have a little girl in your life, you need these. They are small. So, like, here is a peek inside book. You can see. They are really only about, I don't know, probably four by six. I mean, they're barely bigger than my hand. They are only about 80 pages. They are full color. And they are adorable little stories. So if you have like maybe a six to eight year old, these would be great for either reading aloud or for them to read by themselves. So we have Sophie Takes to the Sky in Rosie's dress, of, Rosie's dress of Dreams. Next up for a read aloud, I grabbed the Tanglewood Animal Park series. Now I did read in a few reviews that these are very similar to the We Bought a Zoo storyline. So if that makes a difference to you, um, like if you don't want to read something that's very similar to something you've already read, you may not want this particular series, but Emily loves animals, Emily loves zoos, Emily loves, even if it was the exact same story with like one word changed, she would still let me read it aloud. So it really didn't make a difference to us. Um, and I knew that we needed kind of an animal based read aloud for our bedtime basket. So I grabbed these without a second, without a second thought. So we have the Tanglewood Animal Park Baby Zebra Rescue. the Elephant Emergency, and the Troublesome Tiger. I also grabbed these experiment books. We have the Biology of Bananas and the Chemistry of Coke. Um, what I really, really liked about them is it wasn't just like experiments. It had a lot of um, the why behind it which is really important to me in a science book. And with the chemistry of Coke, um, all right, you guys know that like Dr. Pepper is my bad habit. Coke is Kevin's bad habit. So it's something that we always have on hand. Like it's always in the house. So I knew we could do the experiments in here without having to, you know, go get something else. Now we may regret having this book because she may be preaching to us to quit drinking it constantly. Um, but I just knew that it would be something fun for us to do at home with, like things that weren't going to be hard for us to find, you know, like I hate those experiment books where you need like the Petri dish and you know, all these things that you, that you can't just find like around your house. So that's one of the reasons I got the Coke. And then you guys know, Emily absolutely adores Bear Grylls. In fact, I wrote an entire survival unit around it. So when the brand new Epic Climbs and Epic Expeditions books came out, I knew we had to have them. The epic climbs are discover how five of the most difficult mountains were covered and it has a ton of great information about those climbs. And then the epic expedition says discover five of the most amazing adventures and treks in history. And again, it has a ton of information about those treks. And I have a thing about having to complete series. <laughs> so I had to have the brand new Lift the Flap book, which is How Your Body Works. And this one, you guys, I probably say that they're all my favorite, but this one is so fun. So you have like what your body is made of, these cute little flaps. Then you have like this giant flap. And then there's tons of little flaps within that, like tons. I mean, it just looks like such a fun book. I'm so excited. Um, you have your brain and your nerves, your senses. Like when this book came in, I was like, I'm like, can we please do a human body unit? Can you please want to do that? <laughs> just because I really, really wanted to dive into this. It just looked like so much fun. Okay. The next up, we have the Big Picture Dinosaurs. 
You guys, I should have bought this one sooner. I didn't because I honestly thought it's a picture book about dinosaurs. We have a ton of book about dinosaurs and there is not going to be anything in this picture book that Emily's not going to already know because she's obsessed with dinosaurs. But everybody kept telling me how beautiful it was and how I really needed to have it. So we got it. And I'm glad I did because there is actually a ton of information in here and some of it Emily doesn't know. And it is beautiful. So even if you have 101 dinosaur books, this is still worth having. <clears throat> the next book I have is the book of comparisons. Um, so I used to joke with my husband that he had a head full of useless knowledge because he like just knows the most ridiculous things. That was until we started homeschooling. And now I'm like, you have a head full of the most useful knowledge. Because I've noticed that my daughter is the same way. She loves those like random, crazy facts about things. Um, she just, she likes those things. So this book is, while it may not necessarily be my favorite in the world, it is going to be their favorite. Because it is just like two page spreads. Uh, for instance, that is Earth's energy. And it's just all these random comparisons. Um, here we have hidden depths. Let's see, we have a microscopic. Jump. And here is super senses. So if you have a kiddo who loves like random facts, especially if they love random facts and numbers, they need the book of comparison. The next two books we got were the Life Size series. Again, I thought, oh, eh, we're kind of past picture books. There's not gonna be a ton in here. And again, I was wrong. These are awesome, you guys. So they have kind of like a life size um, thing. And then after you have that life-size thing, um, it tells more about it. So this is my favorite. So like here's the two cans beat. That's what Emily did. And then it tells you more about the two can. Uh, the same thing with the dinosaurs life-size. Uh, you have like a life-size thing. Um, like here we have. It's claw, and then it tells you more about that dinosaur. Both are really, really fun. Okay, the next like stack of stuff I got, I did actually kind of separate it, is mostly activity based. I knew we were probably gonna be stuck home, which meant I need as much things um, possible to keep her entertained. So this is how to draw dinosaurs, and it's just um, a how-to drawing book. It's really cool. I liked that it wasn't super cartoony. I mean, there are some different cartoon things, but then there's like different techniques and stuff in here. And I got her a handful of the little sticker books. We love these. I normally like the little ones because they travel well. Obviously, we know nobody's really traveling anywhere right now, but I still like the little ones because they're easier um, for her to manage. And they're a really, really great size. So we got um, dinosaurs animals, pets, zoo, aquarium, and unicorns. Now in case you've never seen inside one of these, they are like these glossy pages which make these stickers reusable. The sticker pages are all in the back and they're perforated so they easily rip out. And there's like this little dashboard back here um, so that they can put their stickers while they're working if they pull them off. So when Emily was really young, I could put the stickers on here for her and then she could pull them off of here. I also picked up a handful of the magic painting books because she loves these. So these are what I like to call intricate paint with water because um, you really do just need water, but they're a little bit more detailed pictures. So we got animals, mermaids, narwhals and other sea creatures, and under the sea. <clears throat> I also got her the Usborne Write Your Own Storybook. I love these because it takes you through step by step 
um, like how to write your own story. So here you have like getting started. It uses a mountain to illustrate um, how you need to draw making a character and it just takes you through step by step. We have the first one and we loved it so I went ahead and got the next like step up. And then I also got her the write your own comics because I thought it would be a lot of fun. She's been asking a lot about um, comics and superheroes and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, this will be fun. So you have the basics of comics. And then of course, getting into making your character. And then once you go through, eventually you start planning to write your own comic. Next, I got Emily the White Clean Intermediate Pack. We had the beginning pack last year. We really, really love the White Clean. It makes it, um, especially if you have a perfectionist, um, it's not so daunting for them to do some of the tasks because they can just wipe it off, at least for my little perfectionist. Um, so this specific pack included four books, and they are uh, White Clean Spelling. Let's see if I can show you some of the... I'm not sure how bad the glare is going to be since these are really glossy. And then in the back of each of these, there is um, the answers and kind of like a little quiz. Like, see, there's your quiz down there for when you get done and then the answers to the quiz. And this serves as like paper, like if they needed to jot down um, notes or whatever. And then you have the grammar and punctuation. It's set up the same way. See, I'll just show you one of the spreads here. We have multiplying. And dividing. And there's one more set above the intermediate. So there's three different packs. You have like the beginner, the intermediate, and then advanced, I believe is what it's called. We have the Across the USA activity book. So this is just fun activities. The Usborn map activity book. The Usborn Museum activity book. And then I got Emily the two puzzles we were missing. So the space puzzle, we actually bought this at Christmas time last year and then we gave it, so she was like super sad, but it is a book and a puzzle. I'm going to show you the book that comes with each. The solar system is 200 pieces and it comes with the solar system fold out book. You guys, this is actually one of our favorites. Now when you buy the book by itself, it has like a hard cover on the front and the back, but this is still really sturdy um, and it's awesome. Emily lays it out when she lays it on the floor, it's longer than her, um, but it's double sided with tons of information on the solar system. The other one we got was the book and puzzle for the periodic table. It is a 300 piece puzzle and the book that comes with it is the all about the periodic table. I'm pretty sure I haven't compared this page to page, but it looks very similar to the periodic lift the flap book that we have. You're just not getting the flaps. So maybe if you have a kiddo who loves um, periodic table and you can't afford both, you could get this, which would give them the information in the book and the puzzle. And that's it. That is our most recent Usborne haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have a favorite Usborne item that you didn't see or you don't think I own, please tell me in the comments down below because I obviously need to add that to my wish list.